<clears throat> Honestly, I did not kill, 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 <laughs> kill as many seedlings as I thought I was going to do. So these five things killed my seedlings this year. Number one, not being close enough to light. So even though you might think that this is like maybe an okay amount of light, or you might see that in somebody's Instagram or TikTok, um, sometimes your bulb might not be strong enough, honestly. So I have found that when they first germinate, they really need to be as close as they can to the light. But as they do get bigger, as they get more seeds, I do find that they can withstand a little bit, being a little bit further away from the light. But for sure, seedlings, if at that first time that you see them pop up, bring that light down or get them near a light source. If you're putting them near a window when you want them to germinate, that is so fine to get that warmth. But right when they peek through and they don't have enough light, that is when you're going to get that is when you're going to get leggy seedlings. For tomatoes, they're okay when you get a little bit leggy, but like my peppers, they didn't do very well being leggy. My broccoli did horrible being leggy. Number two, starting the wrong things on a heat mat. I started broccoli and tomatoes on a heat map, okay? Um, and now that I like know and I've said that, broccoli is a cool weather crop and tomatoes are not a cool weather crop. And because I did that, didn't take it off the heat mat, um, they just really germinated poorly. Because, which brings me to heat mats and humidity domes, which are wonderful. That's going to be a tool that you're going to want to need at the germination stage. So on my second round of tomatoes, I found that turning off the heat mat and taking out the humidity dome really did help with the germination. And I had almost 100% almost hundred success with my second round of tomatoes just by doing that and just paying attention and keeping an eye out on them. Number four is for sure going to be that after your seedlings have germinated, they've gotten maybe those first set of true leaves, second set of true leaves, that you up pot them and make sure that you fertilize. If you are using a seed starting base, it's not necessarily going to have um, any extra fertilizer. And what that seed used to you know, grow was everything that was in that tiny seed to begin with. So it's gonna need some um, or you're gonna have some really struggling seedlings or seedlings that are gonna start to yellow. My tomatoes looked so wonderful and then they started going bad. And I was watering them, making sure that you know they were good, but not overwatered. Um, but when I did put them into some, I put some trifecta from the MI Gardener in some new dirt, up potted them, and literally like a couple of days later, and you can just like the yellowing starting to go, like they're looking like the selves, they're prim and proper. I'm glad I did that in time because I just don't want all my hard work to go to waste and you don't either. Cannot forget the last one, a fan. You want to have an oscillating fan. If you don't have an oscillating fan, this one's kind of, you know, like live in its last legs. I just come down here every so often. I just kind of move it. What that is going to do is that's going to just kind of trigger those plants to say like I need to grow big and strong and it's also gonna mimic the wind so when you get out there and you want to transfer your plants they're not gonna go through as much of a transplant shock from that wind if you had kind of given them they already kind of give like the no the heads up so basically with your seed starts you are going to want to mimic the beginnings of life for these seedlings and what we want to do is give them an amazing beginning start so these are some things that I ran into um, that hopefully you don't have to run into but we don't want to set those little seedlings up for success just like our children if you found this video helpful just make sure that you let me know and if you're interested to see how these seedlings go make sure you follow below bye friends